USA Radio News with John Hunt. The heat wave gripping a large portion of the country has killed at least three people now and forced the evacuation of about 250 residents from a retirement home and also has sparked the cancellation of numerous public events. More than 126 million are under excessive heat warnings and another 31 million are under heat advisory, according to the National Weather Service. Funeral arrangements are set for a retired Supreme Court justice. USA's Wendy King has the details. The body of former Justice John Paul Stevens will lie in repose at the Supreme Court on Monday. Members of the public can pay their respects from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. following a private ceremony in the court's Great Hall. Stevens died earlier this week at age 99. He'll be buried in a private service at Arlington National Cemetery, the 13th justice to be buried there. I'm Wendy King. This is USA Radio News. Fifty years ago today, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first people to land on the moon. Aldrin urged that the millions of people who watched him and Armstrong take those historic footsteps on the moon hold the memory of Apollo 11 close and said he almost didn't become an astronaut. I could give you a number of uh, examples where I ended up being one of the most fortunate people because it didn't look like it was going to come my way being an astronaut. Aldrin also tweeted, today belongs to you before heading down to NASA's Kennedy Space Center to commemorate the historic mission's 50th anniversary. Two people were shot at a nursing home in Delaware this afternoon. State troopers were called to the Manor Care Health Services in Wilmington. According to Corporal Melissa Jaffe of the Delaware State Police, it has been determined at this time that two victims have sustained gunshot wounds. The building has been cleared and declared safe at this time. Police also say the public in that area was not in danger at any time. This is USA Radio News. Funeral arrangements are set for a retired Supreme Court justice. USA's Radio Network's Winnie King has details on that story. The body of former Justice John Paul Stevens will lie in repose at the Supreme Court on Monday. Members of the public can pay their respects from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. following a private ceremony in the court's Great Hall. Stevens died earlier this week at age 99. He'll be buried in a private service at Arlington National Cemetery, the 13th justice to be buried there. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. A new study reported in the Annals of Internal Medicine reports taking vitamins and mineral supplements won't help you live a longer life or reduce your risk of cardiovascular problems. we get more on that story from John Clemens. It's often been said you can't out-supplement a diet that is unhealthy. Dr. Andrew Chow is with the Council for Responsible Nutrition. One of the important roles that supplements play is to help fill those nutrient gaps that are left by a suboptimal diet. They're not a replacement for the diet. They are a supplement to the diet. Hence, the name fits perfectly. Many Americans attempt a perfect diet but miss the mark. We all strive, perhaps some more than others to try to obtain a a perfect or an optimal diet, but more often than not, we fall short. I'm John Clemens. And for USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent.